Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel GDG OCIMT Crew. This is Said Kunal Singh and today we are diving into module 12 challenge lab, store process and manage data on Google Cloud. In this video, I will guide you step by step through each task. So make sure to follow along carefully to complete this lab without losing any credit. Alright, let's begin. First, start the lab and wait for a minute while the environment loads. Now, go to task 1 and open the Google Cloud Console in incognito mode. On the left hand side, you will find Cloud Storage. Click on it and then select Create Bucket. Now copy the bucket name given in your lab and paste it here. Click continue then select your reason. Make sure it match the one mentioned in the lab. Once everything look good, click create and confirm. Perfect. Your storage bucket is ready. Now head back to your lab page and click check my progress to verify task 1. Alright, now let's move on task 2. Copy the topic name given your lab, then in the console search bar type pub sub and open it click on topics then select create topic paste the topic id or copy it from the lab and click create that's it your pub sub topic is created successfully go back to your lab page and click check my progress to complete task 2 now it's time to task 3 where we create the thumbnail function first copy the cloud function name from your lab instruction in the console search bar type cloud function then click a write function to start select your reason paste the service name and make sure to check allow public access Now scroll down to contain volume and connection, select the second generation, set max instances to 5 and min instances to 0. Next add a trigger, choose cloud storage as the trigger type, click enable and under event provide select cloud storage again. Then choose the event type storage bucket create. Make sure the correct reason is selected. Grant all permission and then click save trigger. Once that all done, click create to deploy the function. This might take a few minutes, so just wait patiently. Go back to your lab page and copy the entry point. In your console, open the source tab and paste the entry point here. Next, copy the index.js code from the lab and paste into the console index.js file. Do the same for the package.json file. Copy it from the lab and paste it finally. Click save and deploy and wait for the function to finish deploying.
once it done open cloud storage click on your bucket and upload a random image when the upload complete click refresh then go back Now search for cloud function. Open your thumbnail function. Go to the observability tab and click on locks. Here you can verify that your function executes successfully. Finally, go back to your lab page and click check my progress. And congratulations. You have been successfully complete this store process and management data on Google Cloud Challenge Lab. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If this help you complete your lab, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to GDGOC MT Crew from more Google Cloud Labs and technical tutorials. See you on the next module.